On this week's episode of Riding Carbon, I explore the El Dorado Trail with my buddy Neil, and then I crash and dislocate my finger. This is Neil. Hola. Neil and I are going to do the uh, El Dorado Hills Trail. Las El Dorado Trail, sorry, no, not El Dorado Hills. El Dorado Trail, first time, we've never done it. And we're starting in Shingle Springs and then riding up to Placerville. Maybe a copy. There are two of us. This might be the last time you see both of us together. Yeah. One of our wingmen didn't make it. Something about tires. And this is why you maintain your bike before the night before. More than 24 hours. More than 24 hours in case there's an issue before a ride. Just saying. Friends out. Do you want to take this trail right here and see where it goes? This one back here? So this trail is really interesting because there are these little side trails and then they converge back on the tracks and sometimes the tracks really don't have a trail so you're kind of on and off the track trail and the trail back here. So it's been an adventure. We're like a couple of kids on bikes because neither one of us have done this before. Look at the doe and the little baby. We're not sure if we're still on the El Dorado Trail. We're not entirely sure if we should have stayed with the train tracks, which we probably should have. Uh, but it doesn't matter, we're riding our bikes. Hi. Oh, look at this bridge! We're having, we're having fun coming back because now we need, kind of know where we're going. So apparently there's there's dancing here. So this is reserved for dancing. Oh, what? They're closed. Uh. Oh, I don't want to get on. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk it. I don't want to get wet. Now we know. We come down. We go left. Yeah, this is easier than going across. Managed to mostly not get wet. Yeah, it just burns. I had to, uh, at first I thought I broke it, but it didn't feel like I broke it. I might have some duct tape. No, 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 it, it's fine. It's no, I it's went like if you want to tape it to the finger next to it. Because I went, no, it, it's, I mean, I can move it and stuff, so I didn't break it. At first I was like, dude, not another broken finger. Yeah, it's going to swell up. I know, I said, fun. I really, really, really needed that. It gave me a new uh, lease on life. So we had fun. Coming back was a lot better because we kind of knew where we were going and we learned to like follow the signs this time to like which side the trails were on because we were just kind of along the train tracks. Neil had a blast. Yeah, it was it was a riot. The wild animals, to outrun a few bears. Yeah, bears. Yeah, some deers. See, Aaron, like Aaron went the uh, the safe way back and ended up wiping out on the train tracks. And the train yeah. tracks were wet and slippery. And so my back tire washed out. So I just went face forward, put my hand out. And then well, wasn't there a train coming like 80 miles an hour down there the track? Was, there you, was a train. You just dodged it. And there was a pack of wild wolves. Yeah, I just wrenched it back in. Just wrenched it back in. Yeah. A pair of pliers. Anna McGoldrick, MD. 
So update on the finger. I've been keeping it wrapped and the swelling has gone down. It's had some bruising. Um, it's a little sore. So I'm going in to go get x-rays. For the most part, the, you know, the swelling has gone down. It was worse the first day or two, and so it's, it's better. But, um, you yeah, know, just to be safe, make sure it's, it's, um, it went back into place properly and nothing's broken. Even if anything's broken, they really don't do anything for fingers. I've broken a finger before. Going back and had x-rays done, and it looks like on the inside where I hit the rock right here with my finger, I have a tiny little fracture. So I've got to go see uh, an ortho tomorrow morning to go have it looked at and make sure it's okay, see if it needs to be splinted. I was... I'm looking for, there it is, building D, and I'm right here. And here's a swollen finger. And where's the entrance? So it looks like they have my x-rays on screen, so I get to show you guys this. So that's my finger. This one, and you can see it's gone back in place fine. If you look right there, I don't know if you can see that, there is a tiny little nub right there. It's called an avulsion fracture. I'm not sure if that's it pronounced correctly. It's where the ligament or the tendon has pulled a little piece of bone off, and it's just tiny. And usually they heal fine, so we're just here to talk to the doctor about that today. So we're good. Met with the doctor. Finger is fine. You buddy tape these two fingers. So just, you know, try to just let it heal and and then as the swelling comes down, start working to bend it so that uh, it doesn't get stiff. He said everything should heal right and I've got a follow-up appointment in uh, four weeks. Hey guys, that's it for this week's vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and if you did, please subscribe and we'll see you next week.